coming a little early for kids at Helen DeVos Children's Hospital. Yeah, former patient played Santa this week, and our Janice Allen is in the newsroom with us to show us how that, why, I guess, Janice, that family yeah. is spreading so much cheer. Well, Doug, and he's certainly not the first time we've seen this. This is the fifth year now that the Babyak family held a toy drive, and it gets bigger and better every year. Just look at all the toys they collected this year. Family came up with the idea after Dawson Babyak was diagnosed with leukemia at just four years old. It was right around Christmas time. Dawson began treatment for his cancer at Helen DeVos in 2014, and he was officially declared cancer free in March of last year. The family has since organized a number of different fundraisers and toy drives in the community. Dawson's mom tells us she's seen firsthand how a new toy can really lift the spirits of kids who are stuck in the hospital during the holidays. So the holidays during, at the hospital is not something that families want to do. It is something that no kid should ever have to do. So if we can just take the focus off of what's going on here at the hospital, the reason why they're here, and have them just have a little bit of fun and excitement and joy is really what this toy drive is all about. And Allison went on to say that some toys will be taken off of site, so whenever the hospital needs a few more, it'll be ready for them. It'll make a lot of those patients pretty happy, I imagine. Guys, back to you in studio.